Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Aquarius. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of December the 13th to the 19th, 2021. Again, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single Aquarius out there, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. Should you desire and require a private reading with, with me, uh, all that information is posted below uh, every single one of my videos, and that includes my prices and how to contact me via email. Now, I really want to give an amazing shout out to two amazing readers and women, sister, spirit sister friends of mine. The first one is Ann Ellis. Ann Ellis Angels. She has her own channel out here on YouTube and that's what it's called, Ann Ellis Angels. And she gifted me this beautiful teacup deck. All the graphics and illustrations on it were personally made by her. And she also gifted me beautiful oracle decks as well prior to this. And I truly want to do a shout out for her. She's an amazing reader. She's an amazing person. And I truly think you will love how whimsical her readings and how accurate her readings can be. So it's Anne Ellis Angels. Go check her out here on YouTube and please support her by subscribing and clicking the bell button. She told me the first day, she texted me and she said, oh my gosh, Brenda, I got five new subscribers the first day. So I truly, truly love the fact that you are listening and supporting my friends. Now, the next one is my very dear friend, beautiful, beautiful Charlotte, and she has Charlie's Angel tarot out here on youtube you've seen us before go live some of you we're called the tarot tag team uh charlotte is in holland she speaks dutch and english she's bilingual so she can do readings in both languages she is phenomenal so please go and check her out as well please subscribe to her channel and help lift up her spirits at this time of the year and she's working towards a goal as well to reach a certain level of subscribers and i truly believe with your support she can do that so again and please go check out Charlotte Charlie's Angel Tarot here. Please subscribe and click the bell button. And I love both you girls. Thank you so much for gifting me these two beautiful decks that I'm using today. Uh, I feel very honored to have you in the circle of my friends and the fact that you support what I do as well. Now, coming in with your all over energy card. And this is the Dream Way Lennerman that Charlotte gave me. Um, you've got the stork, and the stork is all about new birth, going forward, giving birth to your dreams. Um, you know, it's traditionally symbolized, uh, you know, the birth, or maybe even the actual birth of a child. There could be a child coming into the family circle, so that's beautiful too. But it also has to do with major changes in areas of your life, and maybe these changes are usually positive ones that result from a long, you know, a long, uh, you know, arduous, laborious period of careful planning rather than from mere luck. You've been working hard towards something. So you deserve that you're going to see positivity and movement coming forward. It is the beginning of a new season and transformation for some of you. And it also could be somebody around you who represents somebody who's reliable, um, you know, who's going to bring you assistance and gifts that are going to help you. Like this stork has eggs, you know, they're very tiny here, but has eggs on her head and she brings a gift. We all know the, gift, the gift is a new beginning, a new way to start something new. So it's something arriving you could be receiving in the form of time, effort, support from someone. Um, it's all about productivity and improvements coming into you and movement forward and getting those results for your work that you've been putting out there. So beautiful new beginnings for you this week. Now, coming in in your first card position, and that could be the energy where you are now, the things you're feeling right now and going through. You have the beautiful chariot and you have the seven, or pardon me, the eight of cups. So I think, you know, You've been working on something very hard here, Aquarius, and you're going to see good results because I always call the chariot the champion card. Goes into the arena with a mindset. He knows there's risks. He knows there's consequences, but he charges in there with a mindset. Come hell or high water, he's going to win. And it's through due diligence and determination, possibly with things that you've been working on in your life right now, 
that you will see success come in. So you're in alignment, you're on the right path, and you're going to see the rewards coming in. You're going to be able to see the accomplishments that you've made. Just like this little angel here, she's out there and she's finally been able to do some pirouettes and skate on one skate, and she's she's accomplished her hard work that she's been she's been working on and practicing. So you know you could also be planning a trip in a, in, in a wheeled vehicle, whether it's a car, a train, a bus, a, a plane, whatever the case is. Uh, you could be planning a trip somewhere. Now you're on your way on a new journey as well, for sure, because the Eight of Cups talks about you know going in a new direction. You're walking away from something, going into something new, and this has the ability that you know when you're not quite there yet, you, it means to maintain your stability. You need to maintain stability and balance. Uh, you know you you might not be there yet because there could be information there could be more work that has to be done but don't turn around and go back because you truly know there's a better direction and a better future for you so you are on the right track of alignment going for what you want and you will be able to get there because the chariot shows accomplishment coming in now your second card position which is uh, you know your next step that you might be going towards you've got the three of swords and you've got and you've got the Knight of Rods. Now, the Three of Pencils has to do with, um, you know, it has to do with swords. Uh, and often it shows the heart, a broken heart with three swords in it. But you know what? It's all about healing through a situation and, uh, you know, dealing with something that might have happened to you in the form of a great disappointment. But now you're healing through it and you're able to go forward and rest and healing and relaxing and moving forward in a new direction. And the lessons that this taught you, the Knight of Rods comes in here too. And it might have been something to do that was legal, uh, you know, or maybe there was a contract that was legal legal and binding or correspondence that you need to sign in the process here. Um, whatever you've been dealing with, the struggles, there may be something that will bring a conclusion to something. And you know what? Maybe it's it's the a paper signing off of, of a relationship, a business, something uh, you know that you've been working on. Um, but also this night comes coming in very quickly and could want something from you in the form of a fast and hot, heavy relationship. Now, the disappointment here sometimes refers and is reflective of broken heart uh, or betrayal. And maybe, you know, you, this could have had to do with, you know, with with a fire sign that came in that caused this little bit of uh, of turbulence and and, uh, and you know disappointment in your life. You know, I've always called this particular night the the player because he shows up very or he or she whichever shows up very suddenly, wants a hot and heavy love affair, and you know they come in quickly, but they can also make a quick exit. So um, sort of like the page of cups, uh, they're not completely dependable, but you you know you might enjoy the moment for what it is. So don't get caught up in something. Something. take your time um, but I think you're you're healing through a situation that did cause you some great uh, disappointment but keep in mind I want you to be careful here so that you don't end up in a situation of great disappointment when it comes to signing documents or contracts read between the lines so you don't set yourself up to have that feeling now coming in in your third position here you, these could be the obstacles that are holding you back and how to resolve them so you know you've got the hermit and you've got the page of pentacles here so you know you've got a really good two really good cards here now the hermit says you're on your own journey you're you're going within you're thinking long and hard about situations you've had to pull back from all the chaos and the noise around you to be able to have the peace to do that so take yourself to the silence whether you're doing meditative work whether you're doing scripting whether you're doing you know manifesting what it is you want whether you're doing prayer and ceremony whatever the case is i do see that you're going to be able to do that you will get the answers that you need sometimes this refers to a taking a time out from a relationship as well whether it's temporary or full-time you kind of need to catch your breath and think about the situation before you go forward with it um, also you have this ability to either set yourself up to meet the right people that are going to be to mentor you through this or you're going to have the ability to light the path for other people so you could become their mentor page of pentacles good news about money okay page of pentacles always shows up with this beautiful beautiful message that says hey things are going to be okay don't worry so much about money um you know you're going to be all right it's beautiful and it's good news about financial matters coming to you soon 
one. And you know your plans are going to move successfully forward now at a steady pace. Okay. Now you could be also thinking about adopting a new interest, something like a new course, a new joining a new group, an organization, whatever the case is, that will help enhance you build yourself up to move towards that success in your financial part. So I think you're going to be doing research, some of you, to find out how to get ahead here. And, um, you know, you could be returning back to school. This is about material things here. You, you're thinking about how you're going to get ahead here financially, and you're working on it. That's your resolution to that to that obstacle. Now coming in in your fourth position, these are your strengths and your resources, how you can get through this. So you've got the two of coins and you've got the five of swords. Five of swords says be careful of the decisions that you're making. Don't get caught up in no win situations. Weigh the risks before you go into battle mode with somebody. Okay, um, are you going to come away feeling, yeah, I won the won the war, but I, I won the battle, but I lost the war because, um, you know, I feel bad that this happened. Um, don't, you know, this is about you not setting yourself up to make wrong decisions either. So be careful uh, if you're being caught up into some sort of opposing energy or some sort of debate where someone is antagonizing you to the point of having to have a fight or a battle. Think about it first. Is it worth the risk getting involved in? Because you could end up in a no-win, lock horn, locked horn situation, and it just depletes your energy. But the two of coins says you're going to be very busy, and you again need have this need to be balanced. Okay, uh, you know I talked about this here with the eight of cups. You need to be balanced here, and that means you might be taking on more than you can handle. So it's time for you to. Uh, allocate some of those jobs to other people, uh, perhaps lighten your load that way, or make a priority list, uh, tick things off as you go. Um, you may also be needing to make a, two decisions, two choices, two offers, two options uh, that could be coming in towards you. But I think you're going to be able to do it. Uh, think long term, best long term results, and you'll be able to make that decision. Coming in with your fifth card position which is your potential outcome you've got new beginnings this is the death card and you've got the three of cups beautiful outcome considering you know the struggles that you're going through here healing through a situation learning from it um you know he, but you're going to hear that your hard work and efforts that you've applied to this you know is going to bring you success not only with the chariot but you've got the page of page of pentacles here and you know you've got offers and options and doors opening to you giving birth to a new beginning i mean this is beautiful you end up with the death card new beginnings okay and i love how it shows the butterflies here they're going through transformation metamorphosis and so will you be starting from the ground up you may have gone through some emotional struggles and now you're able to spread your wings and open up into this beautiful butterfly to start out on an in a new direction so this is a card that says endings and new beginnings and sometimes those endings seem struggling to us and seem challenging to us and sometimes sad could be the end of a relationship a job anything around you uh, moving on okay and this is saying you've got new doors of opportunity that are going to present themselves now and sometimes we have to learn that some things were meant to be and the lessons we had to learn from them but in the end you're going to be celebrating this new beginning it's beautiful three of cups says getting together and wanting to celebrate this could be celebration of great achievements that you're making right now could be that you're opening up a new business could be that you're free now you've got out of a bad relationship with or a partnership somewhere along the way could be the fact that you're graduating and get out and take, you know maybe you're getting a diploma a degree um you know something like that an award for something that you've done because you know you know again you know i think you might have been working hard towards some new form of study here and you're going to get credit for that for some of you so beautiful card of celebration at the end of the day but you know it could be the celebration for other things as well oh you know maybe you're going to hear about a beautiful occasion that you're going to want to be invited to but i do believe that you're starting off on a brand new journey here of good luck uh, going in a new direction you've you've fought through the hard things you've dealt with them and now you're able to go forward and see success coming in so really really good outcome for your week well I wish you a great remainder to today Aquarius and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to and let's continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and always know that I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And 
I also send you many blessings and much love. And Aquarius, I'll see you soon.